In this clip, I want to show, using an example, how to use by simulation to compare the behavior between two models. We have here two models, L1 and L2. As a first step, I inspect the models. What I notice is that in L1 we have two S's, a T and a choice between A and B. And in L2 we have S's and T's, a choice between A and B, and then some more S's and T's. Now let's dive into by simulation. To show by simulation, we need a relation, and we name the relation Q, that is from S1 to S2. such that L1 is strongly simulated by L2 and similarly that L2 is strongly simulated using Q by L1. First observe that if I do an action in L2, so if I start in K and I execute an S, a T, an S, a T, a S and a T, so three times S, T, I end up in state K. But if I look in L1, then this is not possible. So this is not possible in L1. Hence I know that L2 cannot strongly simulate cannot be strongly simulated by L1. Okay, that's observation one. Now let's see whether we can find such a relation. So we need to find a Q from S1 to S2 such that L1 strongly simulates, is strongly simulated by L2. For this, I first make a table of the actions. So what I see is if I'm in L1, I have an A, I can do an S that brings me to B, I can do a T that brings me to C, I can do an A that brings me to E, and I can do a B that brings me to H. For B, I can do an S that brings me to C, I can do a T that brings me to D, I can do an A that brings me to F, and I can do a B that brings me to I. I can do a C. In C, I can do an A that brings me to G, I can do a B that brings me to J, in D, I can do an A that brings me to J, and I can do a B that brings me to K. In E, I can do an S and that brings me to F. Or I can do a T that brings me to G. In F, I can do an S and that brings me to G. And in G, I can do a silent step tau and that brings me back to A. Then I have an H. In H, I can do an S that brings me to I, and I can do a T and that brings me to J. In I, I can perform an S that brings me to J, I can do a T that brings me to K. In J, I can do a tau step, a silent step to A, and in K as well, a tau step to A. And the end states in L1 are G, J, and K. Similarly, for L2, I can do a K, uh, in K, I can do an S, and that brings me to K. I can do a T, T, that brings me to K. I can do an A, that brings me to M. I can do a B, that brings me to L. I can, in L, I can do an S, that brings me to L. 
I can do a T, it also brings me to L, and I can do a sinus step tau, and that brings me back to K. And in M, I can do an S, that brings me to M. I can do a T, that brings me to M, and I can do a tau, and that brings me back to K. Okay, so how to proceed? How do we find such a Q? The trick that I always use is I start with the initial states. So the initial state of L1 is A. And the initial state of L2 is K. If I look to the actions in A, I can perform an S. So in L1, A brings me with an S to B. In K, I can do an S as well. And it brings me to K. Hence, I need to add the relation BK to Q, because otherwise it cannot be a simulation. In AK, AK in A, I can also do a T. So an A with action T brings me to C. In K, a T brings me to K. Hence, I also need to check CK. In A, I can do an A. So A with an A brings me to E. And if I'm in K, an A brings me to M. Hence, I need to check E, M. And I can do a B in A as well. So an A with a B brings me to H. And in K, I can do a B. And that brings me to L. Hence, I need to check H, L. Now the next relation, BK. In B, I can do an S. This S brings me to C. In K, I can do an S. That brings me back to K. Hence, I need to check CK. In B, I can also do a T. B, using a T, brings me to D. In K, doing a T brings me to K. Hence, I need to check D, K. I can do an A as well in B. So, B, doing an A, brings me to F. In K, doing an A, brings me to M. Hence, I need to check B or F, M. And I can also do a B in, in B. So B, doing a B, brings me to the state I. In K, doing the B brings me to L. Hence, I need to check I, L. Then I've done B, K. Next state, C, K. So in C, let me see what action can do. I can do an A and a B. So an A, C, when an A brings me to G, and in K, an A brings me to M, and so I need to check G, M. And the B, if I do a C, in C a B, that brings me to J, in K doing a B leads me to L, and so I need to check J, L. Next is E, e M. So I'm in E, M. In E, M, in E, I can do an S. So an E with an S brings me to F. In M, I can do an S and it brings me to M. Hence, I need to check F, M. And I can also do a T. So E with a T brings me to G, and in M, a T brings me to M, and so I also need to check G, M. And I've done e H, E, M. As the next step, I go to H, L. So H, L. In H, I can do an S. So an H with an S brings me to I. In L, a S brings me to L, hence I need to check I L. 
I can also do a T. So H with a T brings me to J. In L, a T brings me to L, and so I need to check J, L. And H, L is done. The next step is CK. CK already did, so that's done. Then DK. DK in D, I can perform an A. So D with an A brings me to G. And in K, an A brings me to M. And so I need to check G, M. I can also do a B in D. D with a B brings me to K. And in K, a B brings me to L. And so I need to check K, L. That brings me to DK. So now FM. In F, I can do an S, and that brings me to G, and if I'm in M, I can do an S, that brings me to M, hence I need to check G, M. And that's all I can do in F, so that brings me to the next state, I. So I, L, in I, L, in I, I can do an S, so I, with an S, brings me to J, in L, an S brings me to L, and so I need to check J, L. And that's all I can do in state I, so I, L is done. Now in G, M, so G, M, closer look in G, I can only do a tau step, so a silent step tau, G with the silent step tau brings me to A, and if I'm in M, I can do a silent step tau back to K. Hence, I need to take check A, K. And that's all I can do in G, so G, M is done. Now I go to J, L. Next one. In J, I can only do a tau. So J with a tau brings me to A. In L, I can do a tau. And that brings me back to K. Hence, I need to check A, K. JL done. FM, I already did. GM, I already did. IL, I already did. JL, I just did. GM is already there. KL is not there yet, so KL I need to check. In K, the only thing I can do in L1 is a tau. And this K brings me with a tau back to A. So if I'm in L, I can do a tau step as well. And it brings me back to K. And so I need to check A, K. So K, L is done as well. GM I already did. JL already did. AK was the initial I started with. AK and AK. So no new relations anymore. So based on this breadth first search, what do I get? I get a Q. I get a relation Q. And the relation consists of AK, of BK, of CK, of EM, of HL, of DK, of FM, IL, GM, JL, and KL. Quickly check the initial. AK is in Q. And for the ends, I need to check for J. So I need a J with something and a J I have with M. I have a J, and the J is related to L, and I have a K, and K is related to L. 
and all three are element of Q. Hence, the end states are in there as well. And then as the last check, I have, X, I have states A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, L, and K. So my model is now complete. So my relation Q contains all states. And for all states, I've shown with the breadth first search that it is a strong simulation. Hence, we have a conclusion. Hence, L1 is strongly simulated using Q by L2. So in this clip, I showed you how the breadth first search can be used to find a strong simulation. Good luck modeling.